Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 59. That is, what is bottom-up integration testing approach? Let me answer. There are different integration testing approaches that developers can use for performing the integration testing. Bottom-up integration testing approach is one of them. So what are the different integration testing approaches we have? We have four different integration testing approaches. They are top-down integration testing approach, bottom-up integration testing approach, sandwich integration testing approach, and finally, Big Bang integration testing approach. Developers, based on their requirement, can use any of these integration testing approaches for performing the integration testing. But how does the developer perform integration testing using this bottom-up integration testing approach? Let me explain. In case of Okay, in case of developer using this bottom up integration testing approach for performing the integration testing. Developers will integrate the low level units with their higher level units. Okay, they'll start with the lower level units and integrate them. Okay, in an incremental fashion with the higher level units. Fine. So let me show you how the developers will perform the bottom up integration testing approach. Let me draw this box. And uh, here I'll put an arrow guys. Okay, this arrow represents bottom to up. Okay, developer will start from the bottom. Okay, developers will start from the bottom and then slowly will move to the up upside. That's why it is called as bottom up integration testing approach, guys. In case of bottom up integration testing, first developers will start with the low level units. Okay, developers will use a low level units. Okay. The piece of unit you already know about un, unit in unit testing, right? So each and every unit will contain a piece of code which cannot be broken further, okay? Which cannot be broken further. Such kind of units, low level units, the developers will start the work with. These are the low level units, and these low level units, developers will integrate with the developers will integrate these low level units with what? Higher level units, okay? These low level units will be integrated with the higher level units. Just to finish it fast, I'm just drawing like this. Okay. So here, low level units got integrated with the higher. These these units again will be integrated with. Again, they will be integrated with another upper upper level or higher level units. Okay, again, the process will continue, guys. Okay, the process of integrating the lower level units with the upper level units will continue in the bottom up integration testing approach. So the process will continue until the bottom bottom up integration testing is completed. Okay, all the units got integrated like this. Okay, this is the process, guys. Okay, they'll start from the bottom and go to the top. Now, guys, there is one more thing that you have to understand here in case of the bottom up integration testing approach. That is, okay, now you understood what is bottom up integration testing approach and uh, how the developers are going to use this approach for performing the integration testing. You understood it now. Okay. Now there is something known as drivers. Okay, there is something known as drivers. Okay, which are temporary programs and are used if units are not ready, guys. Okay, so let's assume that uh, while the developers are performing this uh, bottom-up integration testing approach, where they are integrating the lower level units with the upper level, higher level units. Okay, let's assume that one of the unit is not available. Let's say that, let's assume that this particular unit is not ready. Okay, it's not uh, the development of this particular unit is uh, not done. Okay, it's not completed. It it, it is going to take some time. Just because this particular unit is not available, developers cannot stop this integration testing, right? Okay, developer cannot stop this integration process. So, uh, developer cannot stop this bottom-up integration process. To overcome that problem, guys, in place of this real unit, they will place a dummy unit or a temporary program unit uh, which simulates the real unit. Okay, it doesn't have the code, guys. It just gives an input and it takes the input and gives the output kind of unit. Okay, it doesn't have the real logic created. A dummy unit will be placed in place of this uh, real unit. Okay, till that real unit is ready. A dummy unit will be placed in case of this real unit and that particular uh, dummy thing dummy temporary program is known as driver okay driver or drivers you can say so we'll use drivers that is temporary programs okay if any units are not ready to continue our integration testing okay to continue the bottom up integration testing we use drivers so hope guys uh, you got the answer what exactly is this bottom up integration testing approach so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you Till then, see you. Bye-bye.